I've always known about you probably for about 12, 13 years now, you know, and I would catch you every once in a while. But Sonia and I were talking one day, we go to the same church, and she said your name. And I said, hold up. I know Jesse Lee Peterson. I said, the same one that mixes it up with people. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, that's my first cousin. Yeah. And I was like, tell him to have us on the show. But I was, I was half playing. I wasn't really, really, really serious. Small world. She was like, who, Punchy? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. But then you, you explained Punchy at yeah, the got, Ramona. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Ramona, and he was like, I punch back. Yeah. <laughs> we came out to Ramona to check you out. And yeah. <laughs> Welcome to The Father State. I am Jesse Peterson. The Father State is on Patreon, so be sure to click the Patreon link in the description to support our work. I absolutely appreciate it. So today, I'm talking to a couple, very interesting, Curtis and Dinah Wilson. I'm thinking of Dinah Shaw. Right, right. Well, black people not Dinah Washington. Dinah, right? No, oh, not a lot of us. Like Dinah? Yeah, Dinah Washington, jazz singer. Come on now. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Yeah. That sounds like a white name, though. <laughs> well, I guess it could. <laughs> uh, they are married and the co-hosts of Because I Promise. It's a podcast. Thank you guys for coming. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having us. Finally, they all made it. Yeah. Right? They were introduced to me by my cousin. Mm -hmm. They all go to the same church, so that's how we hooked up. Amen. So a little background, you guys have been married I read, for 27 years. Mm -hmm. when did you, why did you marry Curtis? Oh, I believe, I truly believe, I, I could tell a story, but I really believe he was heaven sent. You did? Yeah, I and, did. And why? I had uh, had my life, and I was tired of my life. I went into a bathroom in Bakersfield and prayed, and not two, three weeks later, he came into the <laughs> picture. I got I very specific with the Lord. He cannot do this. He cannot have that. He has to have this. He has to have that. And he gave me that and so much more. Amazing. So much more, yeah. And so did God send you to her? Or you, how did you meet her? What made you say, hey, this is my wife? Man, you want to know the for real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she made me. Cheese, eggs, and biscuits with cinnamon oh, on it. Really? Oh, <laughs> just like, That'll do no, it. That will do it. You know? Went to a man hard and through <laughs> the stomach. stomach. But um, oh, Lord. seriously, we had a mutual, we have a mutual friend. And I was just out of high school, and our friend came down I the street and that. said, Hey, I got the perfect person for you. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, Cool, hook it up. I was game. And so uh, this is typical L.A. We're both L.A. natives. Oh, okay. She was working at the Fox Hill Malls. I think okay. it's called the Westfield Mall now. It's still they the changed Fox the name. Yeah, they, yeah, they changed the name. Fox Hills it's Mall. still Fox Hills to us. Right. But um, she was working at a store in there, and so I knew where my friend worked, and she said, "Come." And she told me, "Come on up there, and you can meet the young lady." So I came up there, and uh, I was at the time I had just graduated high school, and I was driving school buses. Right. So I drove my school bus up there. I'm in my <laughs> school bus uniform, you know, and I walk into the store where she is, and it was her. I was talking to her, and I asked her, did she know our other friend? Right. And um, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know it was her. That and she, he was supposed to be Jesse, she getting was, hooked up she with. Was doing, she did this, Jesse. She was like, she not here, but I can help you. And I'm <gasps> like, <laughs> so I'm sitting up Father. there like, man, just tell her I came by. And I, I, as I was walking out, I stopped, right? I was like, man, I should go back and talk to her. But I said, just let me hold on. No, know? tell the truth uh, and shame the devil. What is he? Why, did, why didn't you come back and talk? Tell me, why? Because he thought the person that the young lady had for him might have been cuter. Man, oh, I, really? just, I just wanted to wait and see what was what, you oh, know? I understand it. Mm. So, mm -mm. <laughs> come, truth be told, though, it can't, uh, I was happy that it was her because yeah. I was going to go back and talk to her anyway. So Did you offer a ride on the bus? No. No. Did you ever ride on a bus? I think I did, though. I'm pretty sure you <laughs> I would I think have. I did. And so um, you just decided one day, this is the woman I want to marry? <sighs> well, around that time, we were both just really getting into or developing a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. She was on her own journey. I was on my own journey. And, you know, we had that in common. And it was, it was just something about... Uh, I'm going to keep it real. It was something about her eyes, and it was just like, Aww. you know, <laughs> this is the one. 
in. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been married before? No. Have you been married before? No. No. Oh, you got married right. young, man. Yeah. yeah right. Um, um, so are you the head of your wife? Okay. Yes. We're just going to jump right in there. What? Yes, he is. And we... <laughs> When you say, yes, I am the head, what do you mean? Does she obey you? <laughs> Depends on what, <laughs> Depends Look, on what time of the month it's it It's like is. this. <laughs> I'm, listen, it's, I'm the spiritual head of my wife. Yes. You know? Right. And so I, I do take leadership in the home. I'm the husband, the house band, mm -hmm. you know? And so from that perspective, I do get final say on what goes on in the house, mm -hmm. but see, I'm also charged by God to make sure that I treat her well, you know, that I, because if you know what the Lord says, he says, love your wife as who Christ loves the church and what gave his life right. for the church. So yeah. that's my job to protect her and, you know, look after her and meet her needs and whatever. And so does she obey you? For the most part, yeah. Again, it depends but if you're on what talking time about of the like a, If you're talking about like, I summons you to go over there and cook me dinner, you're going to look at me and say, boy, boo, bye. But in the real things of life, you know, yes, yeah, she does do. follow my lead. Mm -hmm. And so does she obey you? Good Lord, I didn't answer the question. Not yet. I do. I trust him. I do. You obey him? I do. How, and so you, can't, you don't know if you obey you or not? I just said, yes, yeah, she does. She does? Yeah. Uh, but it's not in like some kind of, you know, I'm King Henry the Eighth type thing and, you know, you just do what I say do, but especially when it comes down to the, you know. What makes you have to explain it that way? What is happening that caused you to think you need to explain that? Because if you just leave it where you're saying, does she obey you? It kind of leaves it open-ended. Open-ended to what? Huh? Either she obey or not. Oh, and you say open ended to what? Op you leave it open ended for uh, other people to assume what you're talking about. So if it's like this thing where the husband is just like, you just do what I say do, and that's right. it. Period. You know that's that's what's wrong with that? That's problematic. I mean, Christ you, doesn't. You have to regard her opinion or her thoughts or her inputs. You, I mean, their final say A is wise final man say. Would. But to take into consideration the heart of your wife is not a bad thing. So do you obey him? I do. You I do. said that. And how does he deal with you like when the hell comes out? You know how sometimes women wake up mad about nothing. <laughs> when the hell wanna, comes out. <laughs> right. Want to control. How does he deal with that? I, it depends. Again, Jesse, it I depends on it what time of the month it is. Right. Sometimes he may, he may say, babe, what's wrong? and let's talk it out. Sometimes he may say, hey, you got to pull back on all of that. You're doing a little bit much. And I have to, in turn, take into consideration, you know what, he's right. I got to I gotta check myself. He's right. I am a little snippy today. I need to pull back. Or thanks for being so understanding. I don't know what was going on. Right. We don't always know these feelings and emotions that we have. But when you have someone you trust telling you, oh, babe, or Hey, you got to pull it together. You listen. You, you, you're a Christian, right? I am. And you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. And being a Christian, what, why does hell come out of you at all? If I you're won't a say Christian? that. See, I didn't agree with that. I answered the question in the form of like a gamut of emotions or, you know, are the ways that women can hormonally respond at a, any different time of the month. Right. But hell does not reside in me. But when you'll be acting that way, it's not heaven, though. It is hell, right? It, it's human. Human hell? It's, no, it's just human. It's just human. Well, human or not, human nature. the human body is not naturally that way. It's some type of spirit that made a home in the body. Why right. would you still have that being a Christian? Let's see. Okay, the spirit that made the home in this body when I got saved was Christ Jesus. I got, I got all of that. But there is this flesh side that we have to kill. We got to put it to the cross daily. Put it, got to kill it daily. That, How and do these you emotions, kill it? you have to not feed it, not feed into it. If you want to, someone cuts me off on the freeway. Don't, don't let doves fly or words fly. <laughs> Put yourself under control. Take into consideration that they could be rushing to a family emergency or something. And then, you know, don't go off into a, 
a, a whole bunch of unnecessary wasted energy and emotions. Pray for that person. So that's how you. So you're saying that it's possible to be a Christian, serve God, and serve Satan? What? No. Where where are you going, sir? Because that, <laughs> that hell is not of God, right? That's the spirit of Satan. Wait right? a minute. And so can you be a Christian and still have that? Hold on. Let me grab well, this for oh, okay. Let me grab this for let me, let me, And I'll come to you. I just okay. want to hear no. what she has to say about it. No, say that again. Ask it again. So that hell that comes on you sometimes. It's not on, in me. That comes out. It, it, to, for it to come out, it got to be in. It's right, not in me. But you said it comes out once a month. All I said all the human time nature. Right, but that... But human nature has a spirit that made a home in it. It's not the flesh that's doing it, no, but it's the spirit that's it in the flesh, right? No, I think it is. I think yeah. it's the flesh. The spirit that resides in me is of God. That's, that's, that's all, it and all, Jesus himself. And he helps me. He guides me. When I listen, if I don't listen, I have this wonderful thing called free will to make choices and decisions. Sometimes I make wrong choices. God willing... We're not robots. Once he gets in there, it's not like, oh, I'm going to always do something right. Amazing. It doesn't work like that, you know? You believe that you have a free will? Yes. And why do you believe that? Because God says we do. He said you had a free will? Mm -hmm. He in made the us. Scripture doesn't say that? Yeah, he, made, he said, let us make man in our own image. One right. of the issues that with God has given man free will, even when you look in the garden, Part of the reason why the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was in, in there is to give man choice. And then man exercises that choice to either serve God and obey him or disobey him. So, yes, God has given mankind free will to either choose him or accept him. Are there times where you do things that you regret doing? Of course. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah. yeah. So if you had a free will, why would you choose to do things you regret? Because. Why not just choose all good things yeah. all that's the a time? Good, that's a good question. If you had a free will. And, I, and this is what I will say to that. When you accept Jesus, John 3, 16, <laughs> and you give him, you give him your heart, mm -hmm. you get a new nature. Your spirit gets renewed. He died for that so that you can be right. with him eternally mm -hmm. and, and to also have him on this earth. But here's the thing. This flesh didn't get renewed. And so when we look at what Paul says, die to your flesh daily, this flesh always, and I'm using the term flesh is the biblical term, but right. this body just wants to go in opposition of, opposition of God. And sometimes, thank God for his, his him mercies. sacrificing for us and his new mercies mm -hmm. that are there every day. Guess what? Even when we fail in this flesh, because we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, for those of us who have accepted him, guess what? We can be forgiven even when we yield to this silly body. Amazing. Because it, it did not get renewed. Right. We and, got renewed. It didn't. And so you believe that you have a free will as well? Yes. And sometimes do you do things you regret that you did? I do. Why, if you had a free will, why not will yourself to never do those things? You, it's like, no... I'm doing the right thing. Why not Sometime, will yourself? Sometimes, like I said, on the freeway, no, I'm not going to let birds fly. I'm going to pray for that person. You, you have moments where you can quickly jump off into a, a bad choice or you can quickly jump into a good one. So um, the freeway incident is, you know, you had a little time and you prayed for. I have an incident where I spoke really badly to my brother and I wish I would have stayed in the car. Something literally said, stay in the car, Dinah. So why you didn't will yourself to do that? I was mad. I was <laughs> mad and I just, I, and I cried for two weeks after that. Because I didn't listen to that voice that yeah. said, stay in the car. He my will man. lead and guide us. Mm -hmm. um, so, you, you have four kids, is that right? Five. five. You have five kids. Five daughters. So you already had one when you got mm -hmm. met, and mm -hmm. you have five, four, four together. together. Mm -hmm. Yes. What made you marry a woman that already had a kid? Yeah. See? <laughs> what made you? <laughs> Actually, that was one of my rules that I would not. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. I'm not going to ever hook up with a woman who has a child by somebody else or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was not my thing. And why did you want to do that? That was you, not your thing at first. Why not? Because when I met her, you know, I met her and I met um, our baby at the time because I've known her since she was two, two and a, almost, almost, almost three. three. The, the mm -hmm. baby, the girl, right. mm -hmm. your daughter. Right. Okay. Which is now, what, 30? 30, 34. 34. Just had birthday. Oh, okay. 34. And she was the first young lady at the time that I had ever dated 
that was on the same journey as me as far as seeking the Lord. And I had never experienced that b before. You know, I, I'm a typical L.A. guy, you know, going out trying to catch the ladies or whatever and no, having Lord. encounters. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> and then I come across this person, right, this lovely person right here, and we're on the same journey together, and it was sincere for her. It was yeah. sincere for me, and it's like it became a no-brainer for me. And I loved it, and I, I loved Why would you bring another man between your daughter and you and she and her father? Ooh, her father wasn't in the picture like that. It, he was, his, his mother was amazing. His mother, amazing. The, the father's she was, mother? The father's mother was amazing. She kept um, our daughter uh, very connected to that side of the family, but me and the father were no longer together. But you weren't trying to keep your daughter away from him at all? No. You had mm -mm. freedom to see oh, her? Oh, yeah. Um, but normally children don't like step parents. Normally. They want the parent. Yeah. If one parent is not there, they definitely don't want anyone coming between exactly. them and we, their We had a little parent. bit we, of we that. Had, we had yeah. those yeah, challenges we had for some a second. Of that. How did you deal with that? Uh, I, would, I, I would absolutely have to say it was the grace of God because I didn't have the, 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 the common sense to uh, figure out how to maneuver that thing and mesh them together. God worked that thing out for us. I mean, it was, we, we dated off and on for four years. And then didn't when we married. Didn't say it was right, but we yeah, did it. <laughs> yeah, and then when we married, um, I believe maybe, I, I, I wish she was here. I wish she was here because she, she could attest to it. But I think when we married and got on the right side of it, she saw he's serious. He's serious. So it took maybe a few months, but out the blue, Mom, can I call him Dad? And I was like, sure. You know, it was nothing that I pressed or pushed towards her. It was something that she saw in him that she could trust. And she wanted to invest herself into it. Did you feel bad by marrying a woman who already had a child knowing you would be coming between the child and the mother and the father wasn't there, the real father? No. It, you didn't care about that? I was, I was, I, well, caring. hold on. I, oh, sorry. I was hold a little, on, Mama. Yeah. I, I, was a little, <laughs> <laughs> I was a little selfish like that. I really, I was respectful, you know, where I would never try to keep somebody from their daughter, but my issue was I grew up uh, living with my, I have like two mothers. I have my biological mom and I have my stepmom. Oh man, I'm I, sorry to hear that. No, it, no actually God, wor God, God <laughs> worked it out. But my, but my point is, is that I lived with my father and my stepmother for majority of my life. Mm -hmm. And so I understood those sensitivities. Yeah. And so when it came to, you heard me, I said our daughter, it was like, from day one, it was like, I want her to feel as close as possible that yeah. she came from me, you mm -hmm. know, to try to minimize that whole thing of, you know, what's different about me or, or why, why am I not, you know, why does everybody else have this? Right. And right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. And so it was, it, was, it was my mission and also because we were walking in the Lord, that was my heart's desire for that. Um, you, so you grew up with a stepmother and your father. Uh -huh. What was it like for you growing up with this woman between you and your father? It was when you, I was so small that you, you I didn't know, I didn't know any better. Right. Um, because, and I, I hate the, I literally, I don't say hate often, but I hate the word step. You know, that's a word that really is not in my vocabulary. That's why I said I have two moms. Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting I mean it was good I had the best of that situation and um but my, you didn't my like her growing up right I didn't like who the lady yes the he did lady. he loved yeah, his mama <laughs> oh, yeah. he loved like her. her we yeah, love actually, her actually there were you know as I got older I you know I would question why am I here yep. and not with my biological That's mom right. from, mm -hmm. you know but I, I still had a relationship with her and I had a relationship over here and what I learned is that People just have different life you know, situations. Like, for instance, and I hope my biological mom doesn't kill me for saying this, but, oh boy. but my dad and my mom, my biological mom and my dad, when they were together, after they had me, they had my brother, um, who was a year younger than me, a year after me, but he died after 12 days that he was born. Right. And I know it really 
messed her up, you know, as I've learned over the years. I didn't know that when I was younger, but, right. you know, she knew she wasn't having any more kids, and her and my dad had split, and he was on to, you know, with my other mom, and they had my sister, and she wanted me to grow up with a sibling. So mm -hmm. I spent more time over there because she knew, you know, she wasn't doing this again. So. Did you like her? Who? Your mother. Yeah. Growing up. Uh -huh. You liked her? Mm -hmm. She got on your nerve? Who? Your mother. Just like all mamas do. She didn't buy me the shoes I wanted. Yeah, she got on my nerves. Amazing. <laughs> so you guys have a park. Oh, let me ask. I think I read that you're older than your husband. Right? I am. Just by a little bit. H how many years? Three years. Wow. He didn't tell me that. That's what I said when he was driving that bus and came in when he was 18 and he had just graduated in June. I met him in September or October. I didn't know he was only 18. Did you know that a man should never, ever, ever, but never, 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 ever, 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 but never marry Don't an older woman? Don't you say that. Don't man, you say please. that. You like marry it. your mama. Please. Oh, stop. <laughs> please. Ain't that hey. right? No, that's not right. <laughs> Shame the devil, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is not right at all. The reason is you know, women are very cunning, and they, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And they, so they mature in that way quicker than a man, so a man can be tied up in a well for the woman and not even realize. He knows something is wrong, but doesn't know Honestly, what it is. Honestly, we have always said that you were more mature than me. You said that. We I didn't that. say that. People will say that. But you are the more mature one. Most of my boys that I grew up with, more, they were all mm -hmm, older than me. Mm -hmm. They were all two or three years older than me, so unfortunately, whatever they were doing, I was doing, but they were doing it in high school. I'm still in junior high school. Right. You know, that kind of thing was going on. Had so, you dated an older woman before you met your wife? I'll put it to you like this. I learned a lesson from a, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. one time I, I did tell uh, a young lady who was a little older than me uh, my age, and she said, bye. Yeah. And I said, oh, okay, <laughs> you learned a lesson. So I'm like, I'm not doing that again. You know, so, so is it like a mama and son relationship? No, now? man, not what's wrong with you? No, not at all. Not. <laughs> not at all. You silly, Jesse. That would be a really bad <laughs> no, mother and no, son uh, relationship. There's no, if it were. there's no in mentally incestuous <laughs> type no, anything because, going on because of the mindset of a woman and men don't know how to deal with that mess until they overcome it, right? It's hard for men to stand up to the woman. It's hard for her for them to lead her. Not when you're on That's the side That's why a man right. need to have a younger woman so he can guide her instead of becoming the boy and she become the mama. Mm -hmm. It's it's no it's no no boy here. He um, had two he had two great mothers. Yeah. And one great wife. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, for real, <laughs> right? He uh, had two great mothers and one great wife. So you guys have a podcast. Is uh. And the title is Because I Promise. Yes. What is that about? I promise what? Uh, when you vow to God to love and stay with, you know, marriage, sickness and health, good and bad, highs and lows, all of it. It's the promise that you make with God of marriage. Oh, I see. And so what is the purpose of the podcast? Well, it has, it's multifaceted. It, there's part of it because for those who are curious about what does God think about marriage, mm -hmm. sex, divorce, you know, and all of these, we have 45 topics now. So for people who are interested and curious and want to know what God really has to say about it, um, also, um, unfortunately, in the, the church, the body of Christ, the Christian church, um, divorce is keeping up pace yeah. with, you out know, control. Yeah. right, it's out of control, yeah. upwards of 50% as well. Yeah. And so we want to, you know, do what we can to diminish that number. Um, we also feel that marriage today in our society has been given a black eye and, you know, it's not desirable. We want to make it, you know, appealing again to people. And also one that's dear to our hearts are children. You know, they don't get to pick who their parents are. When their parents get that twinkle in their, in their eye and they <laughs> decide they want to go turn on a Luther Vandross and oh, do their business, right. <laughs> they don't get a choice in that. They don't get a choice when their parents decide to split up. They don't get a choice when their parents decide to, you know, go with somebody else, but they're the ones that's passed back and forth. And so we also want to keep marriages together to keep these children's homes secure. So you right. provide uh, marriage counseling and advice that is uh, Christian and biblical, yes. right? Yes. What does that mean, Christian and biblical? One and the same. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. Yes, it's, it's one it's and the same. same. Yes. Yeah. Oh, meaning what? 
Meaning we support what the Bible says. Meaning we support, we, our counsel would be our, our situation in doing what the Bible says, our situation in doing what the Bible didn't say and how you shouldn't go this mm -hmm. way. You know, it would, it, would, it would all revolve around the Word of God. And so, do you, okay. So what are some of the common questions you guys get from listeners or viewers of your podcast? Do, do people respond to it? We're, we're still we're somewhat new. small, right. but yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, what do they want to know? Pe well, actually, I'll put it to you like this. What we find is, because you can check the stats of your podcast, the one that gets the most by a landslide is the first one, which is what does God have to say about marriage? Right. They seem to want to know, um, they, there seems to be more curiosity about that topic than any other topic that we've done. Right. And at first I used to think it was just because it was the first one, but once we started getting, you know, start moving up a little bit, that one is just the one that continues to grow. I noticed that women that know the Bible, mm -hmm. that into the Word, okay. um, they are worse than the women that's not in the Word. They're meaner. Why are you saying that? They're more sex and they are They're meaner and what? Wait, they're meaner and what? They're having they, sex they're... and doing all that. <laughs> what may, if they, why don't the Word change them since they know the Word? Well, I, do, I could not answer for another woman. I really couldn't. I couldn't answer for all womankind because every woman is different. But if you know the word, see, that. well, I guess there's one thing in knowing the word and one thing, another thing in you, having the you word can memorize living the inside word all You day. can remember scripture and know scripture and feel very haughty that you know it and maybe be mean-spirited and you know, wild or tense or whatever. But if you really have Jesus in that word, you're going to change. You, 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 you absolutely, he's going to it's change you. He won't leave when, you that way. There, there is some truth to what, some truth to what you're saying. Yeah, a whole lot of truth. Yeah, but there's so, but the issue, but <laughs> I'm because, looking at you like, <laughs> what? what truth? What? Go on, do you. I was doing it. <laughs> um, Ooh. <laughs> Mama just shit you Yeah, I'm going to get in no, trouble, huh? not yeah. at all. Baby. Come on. No, but stop. There, but, there, there, but a lot of times when you see that, because there is a lot of uh, a whole immoral lot of, sex going whole on lot of in marriages. In I mean, in churches see, and things that, like that. See, you had to go there, huh? What? That said was the it, word you said in but, Ramona. What did I say? I I'm not saying that. What did I say? Yeah, you said it. He what? said the it. The S word. You know what What's the said. S word? No Look at word. You. He said sluts. We heard him. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, a whole lot of sluts. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> All but in you know what? But you know True what? True story. But you know right. what? I, 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 I can't deny that. There's also a whole bunch of, if you want to use the word, male sluts too. Slut makers. Slut makers. But men you know, are slut makers and women are sluts. But you know why? Why can't a man but be a slut too? you know why? Too. Because there's because a lot of people. Because women use sex as a drug to control the man. Men are drug addict, sex addict, and women are sex dealers. But the, the, so the, they use sex to get what, him what, in. What is the definition of a slut? Somebody who is A woman that's sleeping with a man for, before marriage. The man is sleeping with the woman, too, before right. marriage. He's, so he's saying he, it's a he, slut maker. Right. There's a difference. Yeah. Well, oh, they're oh. both bad. <laughs> right. That's right. But okay. a lot of times when you're seeing that in the church, unfortunately, it's because like you can, like she said, you can remember, you can memorize scripture, but there's not right. a surrendered heart to Christ. You know, they're putting their desires, their lust, their passions, all of this stuff before the Lord, as, as opposed as, as opposed to putting the Lord first and saying, I'm putting all of that behind yeah. me, which our Lord does forgive us for if we would just surrender it to him. Right. Did you know that women were slats and men are slat makers? No, that, that's, a, that, new that's one, huh? a new revelation, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Thank you. What did you call I it? I don't receive it, but well, I appreciate you. What about when the scripture calls them whoremongers? Whoremongers. Same thing. Yeah. The, same thing. But across same the thing. board, whoremongers. Yeah, same thing. Male, female. You're not a whoremonger maker. He's, yes, he is. Oh. I used to be. Right. No more. Be. Right. Surrender to God. Amen. So, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> so in, the amen. goal of your podcast is to make marriage a sexy concept again. What does that mean? Make marriage sexy What does that mean? It's almost taboo. You know, the common thing today is, you know, have a boyfriend and have sex with that boyfriend and, 
you know, hopefully get married, but if not, then you'll get another boyfriend and you'll have sex. Sex was definitely and only designed for the marriage bed. It was a gift from it God. Just to make a baby. To the, no, what? No, but, if it okay, was just, I got a question okay. for you on it that. should be just bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, go then, to sleep. Then answer this question then. I need you to answer a question, yes. Jesse. Why did God give male and female, as long as everything is generally okay, you know, health-wise, right. why did he also give them, uh, what's the word? The ability to, to have enjoy, pleasure. Have pleasure in the midst of marriage, if it's just wham, bam, thank yeah, you, ma'am. Him having now. pleasure no, 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 hold is on. necessary. Hear me, you know, what? Him, him, him getting to his point is necessary if it's yeah, just procreation. Pleasure. If it's just about why did God give us why did God why give men have? and God yeah. give men and question. women pleasure? If he it's just wham bam, thank you, man. Because He allowed the fall to happen, so that they could wake up in emotional state. Because if they didn't have that emotion, they would have perfect peace, and men and women would not men and women would not be attracted to each other in a sexy way, right? And so God didn't want to keep making man with his hand. At first, he was making from the dirt of the earth, but he wanted he came up with this idea. I'm going to let it come through the woman. And the only way that that can happen, he had to allow them to turn away from him so they would not have peace. And in that state of anger, they have a false sense of love because anger will wait to your sexual nature, right? So they have false sense of love. And once they get married, make all the babies they can make, then they should stop having sex and return to the father. Can't say I agree with all of that. There was a that was like a because combo burrito. Of, would have peace. Adam had peace, and why he had peace, he didn't want any sex or anything like that because he had no need for anything. Then why wait, did God? Hold wait. on, I got oh. one more question. <laughs> why like, did wait, God wait. say then, if what you're saying is true and we're still good, you know, we homies? Oh. Why did God say it is not good for man to be alone if what you're saying is true? Because he he needed the woman to help raise his children, to to be but the woman he, at home watching over his family, so he put them together for that reason. Because if you're alone, he wasn't gonna be able to have sex by himself and make no baby. Got one more question for you then. Uh, and why God said I'll rest my king. <laughs> you, you, I don't know where you resting it at, but, but, but oh, see now I lost my train of thought. Uh, I'll get back to it, I, I lost have, my train of thought. I have to ask the question, why does the woman have pleasure then? What, was, what would be the point? Because if she she's knew her, angry. She, and she, so anger, she has ple she, her pleasure her, comes out of her anger. Yes, it's for her ego, because women get an ego drive <laughs> when the man is attracted to her. She control him. She knows it, right? And so it no, I'm talking her down ego. nitty gritty, doing the bumpity bump, yeah. whole getting it in. She has a climax. Right. Why? Because, it's unnecessary if it's just for procreation. Because she's been turned away from God and her anger awaken that emotional and that false emotion feel like love. I got one more question for you. Well, and, oh, oh, let me tell you that. I oh, just, no. A woman is not supposed to be having a climax. What? Any woman that's but having a can't. climax is becoming a man. That's why a woman has to make herself do it where a man does it naturally. Which camera do I look Bless into, you. Jesse? Which, which, which one? <laughs> which one? I can't see it. Which one? That one right there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we Lord. We do not agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. God also said through the, what he said, and the it, two shall become one flesh, right? Right. But the way that they become one flesh is what? Through the sexual union. No, that's how I have, but that's the false way. No, but no, that's because what that's what, that's what the woman controls the man No, with, that's what scripture well, What that's do what women say says. when they get mad with you? You got to sleep on the couch. No, nah, we don't do that. No. That's what they nah, say, though, right? Or we no sex that. tonight. <laughs> no, because that don't work they, neither. That's why women Jesse. have sex with men before marriage, because they need to seduce him and, and awaken his emotion and make it feel like love. I watched one no, of the shows. I watched no. one of the shows recently, and, and one of the women, I'm not gonna mention her name. She said, "I'm sorry, I don't know who did this to me." Right. <laughs> but I don't. But no. Nah, Am we, I wrong about that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you're, yes. You're wrong. Sexual. That's not scriptural. Is What's what I'm saying. What's the purpose of a woman having a climate? That's what I'm asking you. Right, if because she's God made, a man. Because God made it. There is no purpose. I, I say gave, because, because God gave it. It's a gift so from God for also enjoy enjoy one another. The only purpose for a man to do it is to put that Procreate, sperm in you so right? you could get pregnant. Right. There's no reason for a woman to do it. What the? That's, that's, that's what, what you I'm about would to say. say. What the? That's what you would say, but God What's says different. What's the purpose different? of it? It's to make the woman feel it's good. It's intimacy. It's 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 but growing together this way. But God is not about intimacy. Stop. It's all it's all about intimacy. 
No. Yes. Because yes. That's in your fallen state. Because guess what? Ooh. God even also said, okay, I, I don't agree with you. But you were about that's, to that's agree, a, but she said, no. ooh. And you uh, uh, no, God. that was not that's the case. Old Testament, but even if you go to the New Testament, God says that it's, it's uh, disobedience if you are what is the, defrauding one, right, one another defrauding by not one being another. together. Right. So God has called us when we become married to be together, and he has also given male and female enjoyment in being with one another, no. and it's not just about procreation. He's not about pleasure. That's what, that's what scripture is. says. No, Satan is about pleasure, not God. But and anyone who he has pleasure and knows who are his, yeah. Do you have anger? I do. You have, do you have anger? From time to time, yeah. Do you have anger? I guess so. Do you have anger? I don't live in it, but I have it. Do you have anger? Sometimes. Do you have anger? Man, sometimes. You either have it or you don't. Do you have it? I no, do. that's not true. I know, no, I'll say, I don't, I'll say, he, the Bible says be angry and sin not, so we have anger. So do you have anger? Sometimes. I'm not angry all the time. But do you, you do have it in there. It just yeah, it, depending on what, the, yeah, it can come out. That's what awakens your sexual nature. No. Ugh. <laughs> Jesse, okay, you're gonna have to do me a favor. You gotta, you, feel you gotta back up what you, you just bad. said with no. one scripture. You, okay. you gotta yeah. back up what you just said with Please. one scripture. Give me one. God is not about pleasure. He's not in today's mood. What, what scripture? He is allowed that? that to happen so men and women can come together. God is a dispassionate God. He's not a passionate what, God. Where'd you, where'd you get that from? Well, the Jesse, woman would Jesse tell you chapter that. one, verse two. Read the New Testament. <laughs> in the see. book of Jesse. Where'd you get that from? Read the New Testament. You see. Well, Where? in the New Testament, he Show says me. it's a sin if we not to, if we don't come together. And to read, he didn't say it was a sin. Yes, he did. No. He did. He yes, never he called did. that a sin. Yes, he did. He but said he says it's defrauding. It's not a sin, though. But to defraud, to defraud someone is, 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 is I don't yes. even know if he said defraud because they've changed the Bible so much. It's Man, hard it, to says, know. it says. But let defraud. me ask you this. Um, um, oh, I want to ask you about the podcast. Okay. okay. I noticed that a lot of preachers now, uh, all races it seems. They're bringing the woman into the matter with them. Right. They're having women counsel. They're having women preaching in churches. They're having women doing the podcast and giving out advice. What made you decide to let your wife work with you? <laughs> I knew, I knew it, I knew it. Because, I was sitting here because, like, where is he going? Because it's a, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a fair question. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a marriage podcast. And we want people to know what the word of God says. You also want people to learn from our experiences of things we've done wrong, things we've done, you know, right. right, you know, with a little bit of humor and levity in there. And we think that it, it means more when people can hear two people who sound like average, regular Joes who are just loving each other, that marriage can be exciting and, you know, in that. So it takes both of us to make this magic work. Were you surprised when he allowed you to be a part of this and what? give out counsel and advice? You this word aloud. I, I know I was not surprised Why Surprised not? when he allowed me because Why not? He, he is me and I am he. What we are one. That? We're one. I knew when he wanted to do this that it was a we wanting to do this. I knew he wanted... I can't explain his side like he can. He wouldn't be able to explain my side Would like you I can. Were you surprised he said? No, I was not surprised at all. I knew when he said we should extend BIP out, he meant we, and we together have what done that do thus far. What would you do if he said, you know what, honey, I realize I should never have allowed that to happen. You can no longer do it. Podcast with me. I, how, would you, how would you deal with that? Honestly, behind the scenes, I'd probably be happy. I'd be like, okay, babe, go ahead, do it. Do <laughs> See, all it the work. Lot, it takes a See, lot of work. All the work. You put some on her that she is not capable of dealing with. It's hey, not that minute, I'm not capable. You just said that I'm, 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 I was the head, right? So right. there's oh, something but, that we feel oh, that we should do. But the head put a burden on a woman Man, that she you, can't you handle. You're stretching this out, Jesse. That, that is not the it's way this works. It's not works. a burden. Actually, it's not a burden. Actually, if she wanted to not be a part of it, she could have said that, but... I, I of, come to the table But because every of what week. our experiences were, you know, and, and the people that God has used us to help and all that has been us, the Wilsons, you know, mm -hmm. with our family and, you know, our marriage. All the kids have grown out of it? Um, our baby one who's is here in the audience is, is here. How old is she? Fifteen. Oh, okay. So she needs you at home, not at work. Who said I she am wasn't home. at home? Do you got to work from home or something? Who said she wasn't I'm at home? I'm a home mom. I've been a home mom my whole marriage so what, except for three years. Do you do the podcast years. from your home? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 
in the good old days when boys were boys and men were men, they would never allow the woman to counsel and give our advice like that because to a man or to, to a, a woman anyone. to anyone really right because women so give bad advice to other changed. women and men some and, women do and the reason for that because women don't have logical mindset their mindset some don't. is illogical i i will agree with so, you on that right and so well, knowing it, that why would your husband let you give her advice when you don't understand it yourself i'm not those women that you're talking about some women are Illogical. You have a logical mindset? I do believe. I, I With Christ, yes. You have a logical mindset? With Christ, yes. Do you have, what do you mean by that, with Christ? I mean, he leads But Christ would me never let you thought. give our advice to other women either. Oh, yeah, I think he would. Uh, well, I'm pretty uh, sure he Priscilla would. Priscilla and Aquila? The Titus women <laughs> teaching the old. He says the well, old, uh, the teach old your, your teaching daughters, the young. Not no, 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 he didn't people. say our daughters. He said the older teach the younger women. Right, but so not if, to counsel them, meaning that, you know what no, it is yeah. to, to stay in the background, be a good wife and a good mother. And but that can be part of it, but that yeah. Proverbs but 31 on woman, time. she got Where up are those women now? and she, they're out there, there's not no, a lot the of them. No, the proper women in the Bible, there's where are they now? There's not a lot of them. No, but the ones that are in the Bible that you speak of, what are the, where are they now? Dead? I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> they dead. <laughs> <laughs> you next level, Jesse. <laughs> I'm next level. Yeah, you next level. We might name. have to tie you up in the back okay. and just turn the word of God on. We're going to start you in the New Testament. You're going to be strapped right. to the chair like John, this. John, one, the word. one. But knowing that women are not supposed to, they're not created in that way. To what? To lead, to counsel with men and women. Why do you allow that to happen? First of all, I don't agree fully with what you said. Were women what, created to lead or to follow? They're created to. Now, here's the. Now, Answer I will say that this. question first. Now, I, they are created in a marriage. Are women created to, to lead are, or women follow? Women are created to be helpmates to their husbands. Are they for those to who are for those who are married? Are women created to lead or follow? I'm going to say it again. Wives are created to follow their husbands. Okay. Women and men are Hold created equal. Don't creep for here, mama. No, I was talking no, to me. Were well, women created to lead or follow? You can't say it like that. It was a question. Well, I know it's a question, but I said you can't frame the question like that because it, if you notice, God made man, then he made woman, then he said, men, leave your mothers and fathers and cleave to your wife. She is a helper. She is a helpmate. Well, women but if you to say women in general. Well, uh, women created to lead or follow. Jesse, my answer ain't going to change, bro. You're not going to answer that. I, I did answer it. No, you didn't answer that. Yes, I did. Uh, in, a, in a marriage, yes, she should be, you know, you know follow her husband. But if you're going to say in general that all women shall follow, who, who are the women that are not married following? So you're not going to answer I'm that. just asking you. I, I'm, maybe I I'm need better clarity on your answer. Well, women create to lead or follow. <laughs> Wives were created to be a helpmate to their husbands. Man and woman were created equal. Were women created to lead or follow? They're, my answer is equal. What do you mean? Men God never said it was equal. Why would you say it's equal? But God is Man talking about this. Woman. But God never said it. Why would you say that? Why would you say it was? Because even in a marriage, a man should lead his wife. Yeah, but in that's a what we're still not. That's we acknowledge that. Say, we, we admit you that. You and Kelly, y'all equal. No. No. <laughs> Kelly, you lead? who? Your producer. Uh, my, we're not equal. How are we equal? That's what you mentioned. I'm just saying. But she I, not. Who, who is she? Who is she to follow if she's not married? Every man. Every man. No, I, I need to. Who is she to follow her? if she's not married? Where she follow me? Okay, but but with the boss? way she follow the father that's in her. Okay. So I want to go back to the question oh, because Lord. of time. She's giving me time now. <laughs> so are you saying women? I'm asking again. Are women? Were women created to lead or follow? I. Uh, I, I, he brings up a good, he brings okay. up an interest, not Explain a good, it. but an interesting point, because if they are not married, but here's the interesting part about that, men, if unmarried people, as believers, should be following their father, which is the Lord. Did God say all that, unmarried women, or did he say women, period, were created to follow? When God it, said that in Genesis, he was talking about the issue of marriage, remember, 
Did you make the, that up or no, he said that? You're no. the one, actually, Jesse, you're my boy, but you've been, been the one who's been molesting the scriptures this whole molesting interview. Molesting the scriptures? <laughs> yeah, you just, In what way? <laughs> you're, you're saying things that are, are not accurate. Like what, for example? Man, you don't said so many right now. I'll have to remember one and I'll get back to you on Okay. Uh, let me ask this. Uh, are, women, are women equal to men? Yes. How are women equal to men? They were created equally. Were they... Did the woman did the woman come from? The man from, came first. Did the woman come from God? No, the well, yeah, God created her out of man. Did she come from God? Technically, yes. Yes. Did she come from God? Out of man, yes. Did the woman come yes. God from God? God had woman? to fashion her. Did the woman come from God? Yes. Did the woman come from God? Technically, yes. She was fashioned out of man, you know, with the rib, but did yes. Did the God. woman come from God? Yes. He Less had homework. to make her. Woman came from man, the physical man. Let's just, let's just. How? Why is this so hard to say? How did a man have a woman? No, 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 that's not. Uh -oh. When he took the rib out, Mama gonna get it came you. out of man. Mom. We'll be all right. Mama we'll, going to knock we'll, you we'll, out. We'll, we'll make it. We'll be, I'm, I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Yeah. He, oh, he took the rib out of a so man. Okay. Fat, God did fashion it into woman. So, so we did, still say technically so woman did the came man, from God. Did the man come from God? Yes. Did the man come from God? Or would you say the man came from earth? Because so he fashioned man, him out the of man, the God earth. Created God. God. God created the man. Did the man come from God? God created the man. Did the man come from God? God created him. So I'm asking you a question. Did the man come from God? I, okay, yes. God created him. And still, I'm going to so say the man that. came from God, and you agree that the man came from God? I don't know. We, I'm actually, to see the reason why we're hesitant in answering your question, <laughs> Jesse, what, what kind of Jesse? What the? Because we don't know what you what your intent what, what your intent is when you're saying that man come from God. It's like we don't know where you're really coming from. We know that God. We know that God created man. Did the man come from God? Did the man come from God? I don't know a question that you've asked that has been simple. What? <laughs> so I said, I don't know a question that you've asked that has been simple. So What's complicated about did the man come from God? That okay, seems so simple to me. Well, for Christians especially. It, it is simple. So but, did the man come from God? Okay, we're going to say yes. God, But I'm still going to say God created the man. Why do you need to add the little thing to it? Because we don't know where you're going, kind of a little slippery, sir. I'm just asking you a simple question. Did <laughs> it's a simple question that leads into another I simple. Where you're going. So yes. Did the man come from God? Okay, yes. Did the man come from God? What he said. What? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. What? <laughs> nah. And so, and then we all Watch agree this, that the go. woman came from man, right? Okay, let's go. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I'm following him. Yeah. So the man came from God. And the woman came from the man. How are they equal? See, I knew we, we knew it. First of all, you have to look at it from this perspective. God made them Why both. are you sweating? Because these lights are on. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were sweating because you were going to whoop it when you get home. No sweat no, over here. No, Father. <laughs> and he's going to throw me off oh, what I was saying. Father. No, go ahead. They are, listen, from a spiritual sense, they are equal because God looks at us as his children, okay? Even when you, you're talking about this whole thing of man being ruler over God, yes, that is because of the fall, but yet God still makes them equal. But he never said that. Why would you all say that? What you mean? He never said man and woman were equal. So, so you no saying, that God, would, you're saying that God would make some of his less than men? He never said that he, women, men and women are equal. Why do y'all say that? That's what I'm trying I to say. It's not are. in the Bible anywhere. What makes you that, guys say that? I don't believe that? that's true. No, that's, I believe that's, no, that's not in the Bible anywhere. No. What, see, when what he you're created, looking at, you're when making, he called hold a on, man, baby, let me, let he me called them both men, didn't dis, he? There's a distinction in consequence that men and women have. Like one of her consequences is that man, that your husband will, your husband, your own husband will now have rulership over you. Absolutely. But... That is just he part of. He didn't say no but. But that is part of the Why consequence. Why not take him at his word and not add a but? At his, so <laughs> but at, I, I'm giving so you So at word. his word, he is my head. He lords but over. But she is no less but equal. But if I was single, sitting here with him, he, he, that's not his position. How did you make that up? 
because yeah, see, he's I'm not my you, husband. Man, we're going to tie you up and turn He is a man. 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 That means woman, I would be, I'd have to answer to every man. Should a man ever marry an educated woman? <laughs> okay. What does education have hold to do with the heart? Hold on a minute. If there's true love, yes, that's fine. A man should marry an educated woman. I know where you're going with this, but I will say oh, this. If, are you talking about Christian or non-Christian or just should period? a man ever marry an educated woman? If you want to use the word ever, then we're going to say, yes, there well, are options. Because they may, have, they may truly love each other, and she may still know her role, and he may still know his role. Should a man ever marry an educated woman? Well, you, remember, you said ever. Right. That's why I'm answering you directly. Yes. But let's leave the ever out. Should a man marry an educated woman? A man shall marry the woman that... The um, Lord leads the, him to. Is, 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 yeah, that the Lord leads him should to. Should a man marry an educated woman? I, if yes. she's educated, then fine. If she's should uneducated, Should a man marry fine. an educated woman? Because you said it by, because I said ever. That's it's why not you're a, saying it. It's, it's not an issue. And then I'm going to come to you in a minute. Okay. Should a man marry an educated woman? He, I say he has the right to if that's the one that he feels is, is his love. Should a man marry an educated woman? In some cases, yes. Should a man marry an educated woman? If that's the woman that the Lord leads him to, yes. Should a man marry an educated man, woman? I, it's, it's not an across-the-board question. Yeah, you, you, you. Should a man marry an educated woman? If that's the one the Lord leads him to. Should a woman have the right to vote? Yes. Will you say that? Should a woman have the right to vote? Yes, absolutely. Really? Amazing. Should they not? Amazing. <laughs> Should they not? No. Oh, what? <laughs> because they're illogical and emotional, oh. and they make decisions based on that. You That's why you, a woman is you know up you, and down. You know you. I, I can't sweating. say low key. I said you. You know you I'm high sweating. key is showing this, right? What do you mean? <laughs> high key what? I said you know. I wanted to say you know you're low key, but you you know you're really high key a chauvinist, right? What's a chauvinist? <laughs> what a chauvinist is. <laughs> You know what a chauvinist what, Like what? What is it really? You, no, you know you don't know what a chauvinist is? No. I think you do. I really don't. I, I I'm really, black and slow. I really don't. That is not stop true. It, you stop, stop it. it. What? When you're saying that you're in a male-dominated society and women shouldn't have the right to vote and women shouldn't should, have education. Are, are, they're second tier to men and all of that stuff. Am I saying anything that God didn't say? Yes. Yes. Are you saying yes to that too? I said yes. Like what? Both of those. <laughs> Did he say women were equal to men? He, sh he shows that all throughout the scripture. Did he say that women were equal to men? Yes, he did throughout the scripture. Where? It's not that Give it says one literally. One where it says men, women oh, are equal to men. He says you are both joint heirs in Christ. And he's talking about, but, no, 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 hold on. If you're going to ask me the question in that, when I give it to you, don't cut me off. He says in the New Testament, I believe it's in Peter, talking about the husband and wife. He says you are both joint heirs heirs in Christ. And what God is doing is showing the issue of equality. Uh, she's like, give me the time, but mm -hmm. I got to put you on the hot seat. Uh -oh. But let me ask first, um, do you believe in the order of God? I do. And what's that order? God, man. Women. Oh, oh, I'm thinking mankind. No, God, man, woman. God, man, woman, children. children. You believe in that order? Yeah. And so if that's the order, how is the woman equal to a man? Oh, that's real carnal. I'll tell it to you like this. God does give that order for family. But within the order and how a family structure is to work, there is equality. Amazing. No wonder we have so many slap makers Christians. Oh, there you go. What? <laughs> watch That's your awful. Mind, Jesse. That's awful. <laughs> so let me ask you this uh, before we end this thing. God, put you on the hot seat. Is there anything you've heard my show, right? You both mm -hmm. heard it? You've, yes. Is there anything, one thing because of time that you disagree with me on? Almost everything. <laughs> like what for an example? One thing. Uh, Why would you feel it so easy to use the word slut? It's such a derogatory term. What, you want me to call him a whore? <sighs> Why? Why? We because sound, that's in the scripture. Does this slut sound better than whore? No. You no, rather you rather that I said whores? No, they're both awful. But God called them whores. Yeah, He did. So I guess you got me on that one. Um, one, when you say, "Man," I, correct me if I quote you wrong. Man is of the light, and women are of the devil. Right. 
Right. That I, I don't agree with that. Why not? I think that men and women who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, their father is the devil, the father of lies. Satan is the author of her, right? right. Is the no. father of the woman. No, did you not hear what I said? Yeah, you said those who no, not know those, God. Let, those, what I disagree with you with that statement is those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, both man and women, are of the light. Right. Those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior are of their father, the devil. Do you disagree with me that God is the man's God and Satan is the woman's God? Just said I that. absolutely disagree. You disagree? And why do you disagree? Because of what he just said. And what did he say? He said that people, male, female, who have Christ are of the Father. People, male, female, who don't have Christ are of the Father, their devil. When the, Eve, the devil, their father. When Eve listened to the serpent, did he become her father? No, he did not. What? He didn't. When Adam listened to the woman, did she become his God? She, Adam didn't listen to the woman. Adam did listen to the woman. No, no, no. no he no, said no. because you obeyed actually, the woman, you should suffer. Actually. You said because Actually. you listen to the woman, you shall suffer. Have you noticed yes. every time you listen to your wife, you suffer? No, I don't. <laughs> Man, I get some great wisdom from her. <laughs> Look at you. See, he know what he's doing. He, he playing. No. <laughs> listen, going back to your, your, your real thing, I know time is running down, mm. but, you know, like we always say, John three sixteen, the word of God says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that what? Who so ever, man and woman, Shall be I agree him, that shall we have eternal life. So if man and woman accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, they both are, are they both are of the light now. Women I are agree. not of darkness and men are of the light. I, I agree that those women who have returned to the Father, then God become their God. But prior to that, Satan is their, their God. We agree with that. That's the same with anybody, male or female. The nature, they have the nature of evil. And man has the nature of the woman. That's why he is emotional. Like he becomes like his so mother. So is the male evil too? <laughs> you know how men and if become he has like, our nature, there are, there is the right, male there evil are a too? Lot of so right. we're all evil across the board if until a man we come has back to a the woman, father? If a man has a woman nature, he's evil. So if a male doesn't have a woman's nature. Then he's not evil. But he's not with the father. Is he evil? Well, if he doesn't have the woman's nature, he is of the father. But Period, you point he, blank, no Jesus? Did right. you hear what he said? He, he just, he just he has returned direct to the father. Okay. Every you have you you have anger, right? Yes. Did you know that any male that has anger is a woman? It's not normal for men to be that way. <laughs> men are logical Listen, and common see, sense. See, that's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Good lord. I gotta put you on the high seat <gasps> because we are definite. Time is out. Okay. But I, I gotta put you on the high seat. So I need both of you to answer this as quickly as possible. All right. All right. So I gotta put my guests on the hot seats. High seat. It's the love of money, the root of all evil. That's what the Bible says. Do you trust the mainstream media? No. Uh, is it okay for to be a black nationalist? Oh, ask him. <laughs> is it okay to be a black nationalist? I don't think it's good. Uh, is it okay to be a white nationalist? Don't think it's good. You know what that means, right? I do know what it means. To love your country? Yes. I think that. Uh, for both, I think, I think when you add somewhere. the word white or black in front of nationalist, then I do think that it becomes a problem because it does separate and segregate. I'm a black nationalist. Well, then you got a problem. <laughs> should, should the rapper Lizzo lose some weight? <laughs> Not if she don't want to. <laughs> should the rapper Lizzo use, lose some weight? It might be healthier for her to drop a pound or two. <laughs> for her health's sake. Is the Illuminata real? I don't know. I don't um, think so, but true of what I said. I don't think so, but people tend to. Okay, true or false? Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat black radical lesbians. Lesbians. <laughs> we did not say fat or black, but it is founded by women who are lesbian. Three women who are lesbian Marxist women. And are they fat and black? I, I don't know. I ain't oh, y'all haven't seen forward. them. I ain't touching that one with and a ten foot pole. Don't pull one up. Do, don't don't do it. Don't do it. I know what I know what don't they look like, it. and we ain't touching that part. We not touching the fat black. We not doing that. But they are. Is it okay they are to tell a woman she's too fat? No, unless she asks you. Is it okay to tell a, is it okay to tell a man he's too fat? 
N no, you have to be kind to people, Jesse. These... Well, you know, if, but if, if my husband was starting to gain weight, and just like I have started to gain weight, he would say, babe, health-wise, you may need to, you know. Do you support abortion? No. Do you support abortion? No. Um, who has more privilege, black people or gay people? Oh, that's, that's a, a good mm, one. Uh, today? Right now. Today? Probably gay people, when you because of the word privilege. And you say? I would say black people. Yeah, I say gay. I, I would th say I black people. They have more privilege because, right because now. Because, no, they're, you know, black lives matter and all the arrest that though. is going on right now. I mean, they. Should, should a man ever, 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 well, ever, ever tell a woman his problems? Yes. Should a man ever, 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 ever tell a woman his problem? A husband should tell a wife, yes. Well, depending on who the woman, I'd tell her any day. Should a man ever, 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 ever tell a woman sure, his problem? Sure, Yes. Did you have fun? I did. It was interesting. Did I did. You're still I did. my guy, but it I was did. cool. It was good. <laughs> so tell the folks how to get your podcast and everything else that you guys are doing. Oh. Uh, we can be reached. I don't know where to look. Where am I looking? Right here. We can be reached in Facebook. Oh, ring falling off. Uh, Facebook, the letter B, cuz is the middle, I promised is the last name. Reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Or we also can be, uh, you can email us at because I promised, spelled just as it sounds, 101 at outlook.com. Or you can reach us at our fancy website, hey. because I promise.com. Hit us up. We want to hear from y'all. You can also check us out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify at Because I Promised. Right on. Well, thank you all for coming. Man, thank you thank for having us. That was amazing. That was good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff. Thank you all for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it. Uh, Father State is now on Patreon. So, Clint, the, the link description is there. Don't forget to like, follow, ring the bell, check out our merch, and let me hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, man. Oh, Thank amazing. you for having us, man. Yeah. Next time on The Fallen State. I've done some wicked things. I've done some horrible things. Armed robberies of the security trucks, possession of machine guns, stabbings, shootings. My mum was always there to support me criminally, look after drugs and sell drugs. My dad had women everywhere. I'd say 2% of the people that I grew up around was legitimate. Everybody else was a crook. Stall owners, a postman, and I got shot. My arm, which went through my hip and out my pelvis, and then my eye, because I like doing this. That's amazing. As ironic as it sounds, I don't feel like I ever done anything wrong. I was always involved to help people. Thanks for watching the Father State. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Support my nonprofit at rebuildingdemand.com and tell everybody and their mama about the show. That fun, was but interesting. That yeah. was fun. Fun and interesting, not fun. <laughs> right on.